Welcome to the channel, dear friends. Today I want to tell you about the movie, Passengers. Watch out for spoilers. Through the vast expanse of space flies the starship, Avalon, which is headed for the colony Homestead 2. The 5,000 passengers are in hibernation and the ship is automatically controlled. The ship approaches a cluster of asteroids, the shield protects the ship, but a collision with a large asteroid damages the system. The system fixes the problems, except for the depressurization of one module with a passenger. Passenger Jim Preston wakes up, the system greets him. He is told about the new planet and that the ship is almost here. Jim heads to his quarters, he tidies himself up and gets dressed. Jim goes out to the training room, but doesn't understand why no one is there but him. The hologram talks about the new colony, but Jim only wonders why he is alone. Jim tries to find other people. He arrives in the main hall, but there is no one there either. The system tells him where to find the person in charge of the passengers, but he isn't there either. He goes to find the captain, but there is no one in the control room either. Jim arrives at the observatory and learns that it will take another 90 years to reach the planet. Jim realizes that he woke up too early and sends a message to Earth that he woke up before the others, but immediately learns that he won't get the message until 55 years later. Jim arrives at the bar and sees a man, but it turns out to be an android. Jim asks what to do if the capsule is damaged, the android replies that it's impossible, but still Jim wakes up. Jim wakes up and tries to get food, but his passenger level is low and all that is available to him is regular coffee. Jim is an engineer and so tries to fix his capsule, but nothing works. Now he tries to get into the command compartment. Jim notices that the system is starting to malfunction. He talks to an android, who suggests that he not worry and just get on with his life. Jim hacks into a luxurious rich man's apartment. Jim enjoys the free life on the ship, but then that life bores him. Jim finds spacesuits and decides to go into outer space. Jim contemplates the vastness of space. He returns and gets the idea to kill himself by opening the airlock, but he hesitates to do so. Jim notices a girl lying in a capsule named Aurora Lane. He watches her interviews and often spends time near her capsule. Jim contemplates opening Aurora's capsule and asks the android for advice. Jim hesitates and refuses to do it. He shaves off his beard and still decides to open the capsule. The capsule wakes the girl up, Jim collects his tools and runs away. Jim has a hard time realizing what he has done. Jim arrives in the main hall and sees Aurora. They get acquainted, Jim tells her that it's just the two of them who are awake and doesn't talk about how he woke her up. Aurora panics and wants to go back to sleep. Jim tells her that the pods can't put her back into hibernation. Aurora leaves to rest after hibernation. Jim tells the android about Aurora and asks him not to tell her that he woke her up. They eat in the dining room, Aurora has a gold level and can afford expensive food. She is surprised that he has been eating plain porridge for over a year and buys him his breakfast. Aurora ponders what she can do to help start the capsule, but Jim says he's already tried everything. Aurora isn't ready to give up and continues to research the information and hack into the command center, but nothing works. A week passes and Aurora also begins to lead a normal life. She comes to Jim and asks him why he decided to fly to another planet. He tells her that mechanics aren't needed on Earth, but he might be needed on the colony. Aurora is a journalist and says she understands people. She tries to guess the people in the pods, but she fails. For Aurora, migrating to a new planet is sensational and she would write a book about it, but now she won't do it. Aurora is tired of this talk and they are having a nice time. Aurora goes to bed, the android says she is wonderful. Jim makes a building for Aurora in New York City. Jim uses the robot to ask Aurora out on a date. Jim is surprised by Aurora's beauty and they go to a bar. Aurora talks about her father a writer who died of a heart attack but led a good life. Jim leads Aurora to a trapdoor, he wants to show her the space. They go outside, Jim takes her hands and they jump. Once inside they kiss and make love and then again. 
Aurora continues to write her book, and together they live life. Jim finds flowers and gives roses to Aurora. The ship orbits a red-hot planet and they watch. It turns out to be Aurora's birthday and they are celebrating. Jim wants to give the ring to Aurora, the android tells Aurora that Jim actually woke her up. Jim arrives, Aurora is furious, she doesn't understand why he did it and leaves. Jim comes into the dining room, Aurora doesn't want to listen to him and leaves. Then comes to Jim at night and hits him. She prepares to kill him, but she doesn't. Jim apologizes to Aurora on voicemail. He says that after her awakening, his life has made sense. Jim notices that the ship is beginning to malfunction again. A diagnostic system malfunctions. Aurora reviews her friend's farewell videos. Aurora arrives in the main hall and sees a tree planted. Jim goes down in the elevator, but it gets stuck. Aurora tries to order food, but the system also malfunctions. Suddenly they hear voices from the captain. They meet the captain and tell him the situation. They arrive at the command module, the captain tries to find the ship's breakdowns, but there is no data. The ship begins to malfunction, so they need to manually check the data. The captain realizes that Aurora was awakened by Jim. Aurora talks about Jim's act, he ruined her life. The captain gets worse and goes to rest. Aurora goes to swim in the pool, but there is a loss of gravity. Aurora tries to get out, but fails. Gravity is restored and Aurora manages to surface. The failures occur more and more often, the captain doesn't understand what the cause is. On the day Jim wakes up, many breakdowns occur simultaneously. All of the ship's systems are at risk if nothing is fixed. The captain loses consciousness, they scan his body, more than 400 pathologies are found, the diseases were caused by improper depressurization. The captain does not have long to live. They come to the captain, he tells them to take care of each other and gives them his bracelet, which will give full access and asks them to fix the ship, and then he dies. Critical errors occur and they head to the engineering bay. Gravity fails and the android also breaks down. Once in the engineering bay, they check the systems. Access to one room is blocked, Jim opens the door and Aurora is whisked away to the depressurized hole. They manage to seal the hole and the system stabilizes. They arrive at the nuclear reactor, the computer controlling the reactor has been damaged by the asteroid. Jim and Aurora manage to replace the damaged part, but the ventilation system fails. Outside the mechanism is jammed, Jim goes into outer space to fix the system or the reactor will explode. There is a risk that Jim will die there. Aurora asks him to return to her. Jim goes into outer space, Aurora tries to cool the reactor, but she is injured. Jim makes it to the shaft, the bolt doesn't hold open, so Jim is left holding it. Aurora doesn't want him to die, but decides to open the hatch. Jim holds on, but is carried into open space. The reactor temperature recovers. Jim is carried away to the engine, but is allowed to push back. Aurora is glad he is alive, Jim wishes they had met on the planet. Aurora enters outer space and heads toward Jim. She manages to grab Jim by the tether and they return to the ship. Aurora puts him in a treatment capsule, the assistant reports that the patient is dead. Luckily the Aurora has access and Jim is given post-mortem resuscitation. Jim wakes up, which makes Aurora very happy. They send the captain's body into space. Jim shows Aurora that it is possible to go back to sleep with a healing capsule, but there is only one capsule. Jim tells Aurora to go back to sleep and get to the planet. Jim sits in the bar and then Aurora comes in, she doesn't dare leave Jim alone. Jim gives her a ring. 88 years pass, the ship approaches the planet. The ship's command wakes up and sees that the main hall is overgrown with vegetation, and a huge tree stands in the center. This is where the movie ends, Passengers. A very beautiful and interesting film, about love in the midst of space. Thanks for watching and good luck.